good morning student myself professor gada kesses from snd college of engineering and research center evula students we are learning the final year subject that is the solar and wind energy so from that we have learned or we have covered the topic up to the unit number 4 from the unit number 4 that is the case study on the solar energy application we have covered some topics so let's see which topic we have covered and in the today's lecture which topic we have to discuss so all of you know in the unit number 4 we are going to study the four um, three case studies that is case study on the solar food dryer second case study on the parabolic dish cooker solar cooker and third case study we have going, we are going to learn on the photovoltaic system so up to the last lecture we have covered some topic from the unit number 4 that's are basics of solar dryers basic principle of solar dryers and uses of the solar dryers that topics we have covered up to the last lecture in the today's lecture we are going to start the next topic that is the types of solar dryers so there are so many types of solar dryers are there but basically three types of solar dryer we are going to see that is the natural convection solar dryer forced convection solar dryer and tunnel solar dryers then we are going to see advantages of solar dryer disadvantages of solar dryer and at the last we are going to see the actual case study of the solar dryer that means first case study that is the solar food dryers all of you understand that so let's start the today's topic that is the types of solar dryers so actually we are seeing there are so many types of solar dryers are there okay so let's see first classification of solar dryer and then we will see which are the important solar dryer so the many types of solar energy crops dryers are classified in the taxonomy as shown in the figure so let's see here classification of solar dryer is given so let's see which classification is given first one if you are seeing drying and dryer classification that means solar dryers are classification so basically it the, it is classified in the two category that is conventional dryers and solar energy dryers conventional dryers means what they are not using solar energy and another one is a solar energy dryer based on the solar energy so if you see conventional dryers that's are classified again in the two categories first one bulk or storage dryers so low temperature dryers is called and second one is a batch or continuous flow that is a high temperature dryers are there that means two types of conventional dryers are there low temperature and high temperature dryers all of you understand now see in the solar energy drying or solar energy dryers solar energy dryers are again classified in the two types natural that is the natural dryers or open to sun drying and second one is a solar energy dryers again if you see natural dryers are classified in the two types that is a crop dried and post harvesting dryers all of you understand crop dried and post harvesting dried again post harvesting dried classified into two types drying on ground and drying on trees drying on ground and drying on trees so drying on trees also classified in the two types horizontal tray and vertical trays or inclined trays all of you understand that that's are the classification of the drying on the trays again in the if you see in the solar energy dryers there are two types active dryers passive dryers active dryers again classified in the three types that's are distributed type dryers mixed made dryers and last one is the integral types of the dryers so that's are the three types of the active dryers again solar energy dryers are of the passive dryers also so passive dryers again classified in the three types first one distributed types dryers mixed type dryers and integral types dry that means active dryers and passive dryers are of the same but again in the passive dryers there are two types of the integral types of the dryers so which are that cabinet dryers and greenhouse dryers so that's our overall classification of the solar dryers all of you understand
द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सोलर ड्राइव दैट मीन्स टू मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सोलर ड्राइव्स आर देयर बट जनरली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सोलर ड्राइव्स वी आर यूजिंग सो विच आर दैट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सोलर ड्राइव्स दैट वी विल सी सो लेट सी विच आर द थ्री सोलर ड्राइव्स विच आर कॉमनली यूजिंग देर आर वराइटी ऑफ सोलर ड्रायर डिजाइन प्रिंसिपली द सोलर ड्रायर कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन द थ्री ग्रुप्स सो फर्स्ट वन नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर सेकेंड वन फोर्स कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर एंड थर्ड वन टनल ड्रायर्स सो वी हैव टू लर्न दैट ऑल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सोलर ड्रायर्स सो फर्स्ट वन नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर वी विल सी इन द टू डेज लेक्चर एंड नेक्स्ट टू वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो लेट सी वट इज अ नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर सोलर ड्रायर दैट यूज द नेचुरल वर्टिकल कन्वेक्शन दैट ऑकर्स वेन एयर इज हीटेड दैट मीन्स वाट एज पर द नेम नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्राइव दैट मीन्स दे आर यूजिंग द नेचुरली हीटेड ईयर फॉर द ड्राइंग पर्पज जनरली द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर आर साइज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फॉर ऑन फार्म यूज दैट मीन्स फॉर फार्म यूज वी आर यूजिंग द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्राइव द स्ट्रक्चर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मेन कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज फर्स्ट वन सोलर कलेक्टर्स देन अ ड्राइंग बीन एंड सोलर चिमनी दैट्स आर द थ्री कंपोनेंट्स नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर्स दैट्स आर स्मॉलर इन स्केल आर बेसिकली वुडन बॉक्स दैट मीन दैट आर ऑफ द वुड मटेरियल्स विथ द व्स एट द टॉप एंड बॉटम फूड इज प्लेस्ड इन द स्क्रीन फार्म स्क्रीन फ्रेम विच स्लाइड्स इन टू द बॉक्सेस अ प्रॉपरली साइज सोलर एयर हीटर विथ द साउथ फेसिंग प्लास्टिक ग्लासिंग एंड ब्लैक मेटल एब्जॉर्ब इज अ कनेक्टेड टू द बॉटम ऑफ द बॉक्सेस ब्लैक मेटल एब्जॉर्बर इज कनेक्टेड टू द मेटल एट द बॉटम सो टू एब्जॉर्ब द एक्स्ट्रा हीट्स ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द एयर इंटर्स द बॉटम ऑफ द सोलर एयर हीटर एंड इज हीटेड बाय द ब्लैक मेटल एब्जॉर्बर द वार्म एयर रेजेस अप पास्ट द फूड एंड आउट थ्रू द वेंट्स एट द टॉप वाइल ऑपरेटिंग दिस ड्रायर्स प्रोड्यूस टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन थर्टी टू वन एटी डिग्री फेयर एंड दैट मीन्स नियर अराउंड फिफ्टी फोर टू एटी टू डिग्री सेल्सियस विच इज डिजायरेबल रेंज फॉर मोस्ट फूड ड्राइंग एंड फॉर पेस्टुराइजेशन विथ दिस ड्रायर्स इट्स इट इज पॉसिबल टू ड्राई द फूड इन वन डे दैट मीन्स दैट नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट ड्रायर्स वी कैन ड्राई द फूड्स विद द वन डे इवन वेन इट इज पार्टली क्लाउड हेजी एंड वेरी ह्यूमिड ऑल्सो इन साइड देयर आर थर्टीन शेल्स दैट विल हेल्ड थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी मीडियम साइज एपल्स और परचेस कट इन दी थीन स्लाइस ऑल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्राइव सो नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्राइव्स मीन दैट ड्राइव्स आर यूज इन द नेचुरली हीटेड वाटर वाट नेचुरली हीटेड ईयर्स फॉर ड्राइंग दी फूड्स और ग्रेन और पा ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो दैट इज द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर सो लेट अंडरस्टैंड दैट नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर थ्रू दी वीडियो ऑल्सो सो यू विल गेट द प्रैक्टिकल आइडिया अबाउट दैट नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन ड्रायर्स So now we are going to discuss about the study of natural convection solar dryers. So dehydration, so which is the one of the oldest method for preserving food. So in olden days, just by dehydration, we can able to preserve food. We can able to have the effective vitamins without deteriorations. So one of the oldest methods of preserving food is the dehydration. Alternative to canning and freezing, simple, safe, and easy to learn. Can dry year round. or no refrigeration needed takes little space so these are the some of the things or key points on the dehydration Now, how drying process in drying process it initially removes the moisture from food so bacteria yeast and molds can grow and spoil food so whenever a food item which has been exposed to sun bacteria yeast and molds won't form so it no possibility of forming bacteria yeast and molds so food will be preserved and then it slows down the actions of enzymes but doesn't inactive dump which means it just 
slows down the formation of a building of these enzymes, but it uh, doesn't inactivate them, which means even food to be a healthy one, we need some amount of enzymes. Temperatures for drying. Optimum temperature for drying food is 140 Fahrenheit. If higher temperatures are used, food cooks instead of drying. So, we have to maintain the optimum temperature, which is 140 Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit. Avoid case hardening. Dried wood and moisture is trapped inside small sizzles. So, we should avoid case hardening. Drying out of doors, sun drying. Drying fruits, high sugar and acid makes them safe. Don't dry vegetables or JQ meats outdoors. Need hot or dry breezy days. Temperature of around 85 Fahrenheit or higher for several days within humidity below 60%. Need to cover, wash materials, use and control for insects and pests. Out of doors, solar drying, need to make a dryer. Need to stir and turn food several times a day. Need several days. These are the points related with solar drying. Next, we are going to see drying fruits. Preparing food, the fruits, wash fruits and co. if needed. Fruits can be hauled as sliced and some left whole. Thin uniform peel slices very fast as. Apples can be cored and sliced, wedges, rings. Bananas can be sliced. If fruit dries whole, checks or cack the skin to speed drying's. Cranberries placed in boiling the cold water to check. So these are the some of the points related with drying fruits. Drying the fruit, place fruits in single layer, follow directions given, follow approximate drying times given, watch food as it dries much faster at the end of our drying periods. So these are the points which we are supposed to keep in mind before drying the fruits. So place fruits in single layer, follow the directions given, so approximate drying times because if it is overheated, it means it will be cooked. If it is underheated, it means it cannot be preserved. So it should be an optimum one. Watch food as it dries much faster at the end of drying periods. Next, determining dryness of fruits. Most fruits should have 20% moisture content when dried. So almost all fruits will have a 20% of moisture content when dried. Cut several Cooled pieces in half should be no visible moisture and should not be able to squeeze any moisture from fruit. So this point is very very important. Cut several cooled pieces in half should be no visible moisture and should not be able to squeeze any moisture from fruits. Not be sticky or tacky. This is another important point. If pieces fold in halves, shouldn't stick to itself. So these are the some of the points which we supposed to. Keep in mind when determining the dryness of fruit. After drying, cool fruit 30 to 60 minutes before packaging. Cool fruits 30 to 60 minutes before packaging. Don't pack too soon or moisture buildup could occur. Don't wait too long or could pick up moisture. So this point while packaging we have to keep in mind don't pack too soon or moisture buildup could occur. Don't wait too long or could pick up moisture. So carefully we have to handle when you are packaging our food. Advantage is low cost. So here it is being exposed to sunlight. It is being dependent upon the nature. So no need for heavy investment. So it is low cost. It is suitable for all drying items. So almost all items which need drying can be dried out with natural convection solar dryers. So these are the applications. So we can have a drying process in fruits such as apple, apricots, grapes, pineapples and bananas etc. Vegetables, potatoes, peas, carrots, peppers, all those things can be dried out with solar dryer. Corn, maize, rice can also be dried out. So these are the, some of the applications which we can have a dry, drying process for our solar convection dryers. So fish, meat, mushrooms, tea, coffee, 
so all these things can also be derived with the help of natural solar rays.